welcome to a new episode of Kids Liturgy. Let's light our prayer candle. All right. So thank you for joining us today. Today is February 14th, uh, Valentine's Day, and also the sixth Sunday in Ordinary Time. All right, so let's get right into our gospel reading for today. Um, so we're, we're actually kind of picking up where we left off in our gospel story um, from last week. Um, so this is an, another reading from the book of Mark. So let's begin. This is a reading from the Holy Gospel according to Mark. Glory to you, O Lord. A man suffering from a dreaded skin disease called leprosy came to Jesus, knelt down, and begged him for help. If you want to, he said, you can make me clean. Jesus was filled with pity and reached out and touched him. I do want to, he answered, be clean. At once, the disease, leprosy, left the man and he was clean. Then Jesus spoke sternly to him and sent him away at once. After saying to him, listen, don't tell anyone about this, but go straight to the priest and let him examine you. Then, in order to prove to everyone that you are cured, offer the sacrifice that Mass is ordered, Moses ordered. But the man went away and began to spread the news everywhere. Indeed, he talked so much that Jesus could not go into a town publicly. Instead, he stayed out in lonely places and people came to him from everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. All right, so we have another miracle this week. That's three weeks in a row that we have had miracles. Um, so that's crazy. So this week, um, a man approaches Jesus with this skin disease called leprosy, and it means you kind of have big blotches all over your skin. Today we call it, it's known as Hansen's disease, or uh, leprosy, it was called back in Jesus' time. And um, a lot of people who um, pe people who did not have leprosy stayed away from um, people with leprosy. And people with leprosy had, maybe you've, you've seen these noisemakers before. They're, um, they're long like this and they have a handle for you to hold on to and they have like hand, plastic hands on the end and you shake them and they kind of make a clapping sound. Maybe you've um, may, uh, used that before as a noisemaker, um, but these people with leprosy had noisemakers similar to that and said it was wooden, wooden boards that would clap. And when people who did not have this disease heard the clapping, they knew to, to go away from it because that was a warning that, that these people with leprosy were coming nearer to them. And so I don't, have, I don't have a hand clapper, but I do have this singing bowl. So that's my noisemaker for today. Um, but so that's kind of the history of this, uh, this disease. So I'm going to uh, display a picture of a person right here that you'll see. And um, I want you to consider this question. If you had the power to help anyone in any way, what would you do? Think about that for a minute. Maybe you would cure people when they're sick. Maybe you would um, make sure that hungry children everywhere had food to eat. Um, maybe you would make sure that everybody who had a home, did not have a home, had a roof over their heads, things like that. Those are all great ways to help people. Um, now I want you to think about the last time you did a good deed for another person. Or you, the last time you helped someone. Think about that. Share out loud right now how, when, what that good deed was, the last time you did a good deed. What was that?
Great job. Thank you so much for sharing and, and thinking about that. Remember that when we are healers, we help other people. Um, and I invite you this week to be healers by helping three people this week. So try to, try to help three different people this week. And the simple message for the gospel reading for today is that when we help others, we are be being healers. All right, great job. Um, thank you for, for reflecting on the gospel with me. Now, um, to get into our, our game, um, our answer from last week is um, Simon Peter. So the question was, whose mother-in-law was healed in the gospel story? And the answer is Simon Peter. So if you said Simon or Peter or Simon Peter, um, you got the answer correct. So great job. And congratulations to you if you were the first one to submit and win the prize. Um, your prize is either um, shipping or it has arrived to you by now. So great job. All right, let's uh, play our game for this week and spin our wheel. Remember that uh, if we spin a five, uh, that's a wild and we spin again. Oh, we got a five. All right, let's spin again. Oh my gosh, we got another five. Spin again. All right, we got a three. All right, so here's our question. What is the disease that the man in the gospel story had that Jesus healed him from? So let me read that question one more time. What was the disease that the man in the gospel story had that Jesus healed him from? All right, so if you think you know the answer, uh, please uh, uh, email me here. I'll display the email up here. It's also in the description. And send me today's date, which is February 14th, and the answer to the question. And if you're the first one to email me with the correct answer, uh, you'll win a prize. So good luck to you, and I really hope that you play. Um, all right, so let's put this away. And thanks for playing another round of our game. All right, so now it's time to renew our baptismal promises. So please respond, I do, to the following statements. Children, do you believe in God the Father? I do. Children, do you believe in Jesus Christ, our Lord? I do. Children, do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who is given to you in a special way today, just as he was given to the apostles on the day of Pentecost? I do. This is our faith. This is the faith of the church. We are proud to profess it in Christ Jesus our Lord. Amen. Great job. All right, now it's time to uh, pray our petitions for the needs of others and of the whole world. So please respond, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that our leaders will care for all people and for the environment. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for healing and reconciliation amongst all peoples. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those we find it difficult to forgive. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may live as a people of peace and harmony. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Loving God, Listen to the prayers we make in the name of Jesus. Amen. Awesome job, boys and girls. Uh, one last thing, please remember to check out the description of this video for the link to our activity packet for this Sunday um, that uh, reflects on the gospel for this weekend. Um, it actually has the wrong date on the inside page. It says February 16th, um, but it but it does also say the sixth Sunday of Ordinary Time, which is what today is. Um, so it is correct. It just has the wrong date on the inside. So I apologize for that. Um, but um, the link to that is in the description of the video. So please check that out. And um, we thank you so much for joining us today. Uh, please tune in next week as it is. it will be the first Sunday of Lent. And we will have... Um, a, a, we will change the color of our prayer cloth. So... 
So tune in to check out what that is. Um, we will also, since it, it's Lent is coming up uh, just Wednesday, is Ash Wednesday, um, check out our new video series, uh, Lent at Home for Families. Um, those videos will be released every week and we really encourage you to watch those as well for some uh, tips and tricks um, about um, how to best, some ways to best celebrate Lent at home um, as a family and really make the most out of that season. So please check those out as well. A new video, our first video will be dropped this week. So look for that. All right, thank you so much for watching and we will see you next week. Bye.